y'all. That's uh, my impeccable Sandy Cheeks impression. If we don't finish this mission in the allotted time, I might just extend this episode. Finish this mission. Since it's not, there's not much left. Nope. If I recall. Wait, there actually might be. I think, no, I think you just have to get the prisoner. Yeah, but I think he can be here or here. Yeah. And then you're supposed to, you can interrogate the guys to find out, but I've already, like, taken a bunch of them, so I might... I think there are documents here somewhere too. I just don't remember where. I think I think you'll be all right. It doesn't take super long to do. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, mm -hmm. We'll make this is a quick question, but oh, what's your favorite pizza topping? Favorite pizza topping. Hmm. Um. Oh. Okay. They're investigating. Uh. I mean, pepperonis. Oh, there's also a guy to the right if you didn't see that on the road. Oh, jeez. Uh, right there. Oh, wait, maybe that's a machine gun, I'm not sure. No, there's a dude right there. Oh, down there? Yeah. I don't know if it's a... Oh, okay, never mind. It's just a fence. Yeah, but there um, was a dude there, so it's a good thing you caught that. Nice. Uh, pepperoni is... I mean, it's a staple. If you don't have pepperoni, I mean... <laughs> If you go without pepperoni, that's cool, but I, pepperoni is such a staple for me. Alright, let's take it a step further then. What would you pair with pepperoni? What um, was your second topping, I guess? Pepperoni and what? I, mean, I would say banana, banana peppers first, but I, I, I don't know. Eating a pizza without pepperoni just feels wrong, <laughs> personally. Yeah. It's like... So pepperoni, I, I banana know. pepper? Um, that's usually what I get. Because it has a nice, like, I think you did jalapenos at back when you were ordering. Yeah, ours. yeah, sometimes. That's a cool little backstory. As I used to deliver pizza to Will. Oh yeah, that's. It doesn't not. That's not how we met. <laughs> we already knew each other. <laughs> and we fell madly in love. Yeah, well, that was like love at first sight. We didn't. That was well before. <laughs> um, I, I guess it depends on the mood, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I guess. Like sometimes you're in the mood for. I'm not as much this, of a mood kind you're of person. Um, but I mean, most of the time I'm just like, it's food, I'll eat it. Yeah. It, it's, it's delicious and fills me up, that's about all I need. Yeah, I feel that. Um, but if I, it, sometimes I get a craving for the hotter stuff, I'm like, yeah, pepperoni helping us, baby. Okay. But, banana peppers are usually my go-to, because that's like, that's a not super hot, but like, just like a, like a pinch of hot, I guess. Yeah, I get you. And still, it has a little zing. And then some, zing? sometimes I'm just like, eh, pepperoni. I got you. So, mostly banana peppers, sometimes pepperoni, sometimes pepperoni jalapenos. Uh, mine's salami. Salami's pretty good. If it's an Italian meat, I probably love it. It's well, that simple. Is that those documents you're looking for? Yeah, I think so. Where it tells where the guy is. I love his scanner. Be cool to have something like that. Yeah, that's pretty nifty. Um, so yeah. Salami. Pastrami's good, but nowhere offers it. Salami's becoming pretty rare to find, also. Really? Yeah. Pizza Hut got rid of it, <laughs> which made me sad. At least in town. They got rid of that. They were gonna get rid of meatballs, because nobody orders that. And then they didn't. Yeah, meatballs seems like a weird thing to get on a pizza. So I'm iffy on that because I I used to order that every time. I don't think I've. How big are the meatballs on the pizza? They're half meatballs. Oops. Oh, okay, so they're not like giant. They're not giant, but they're good enough size to make it worth it. Hmm. Oops. That would be more my issues. Like it's it's like like choking on it. <laughs> basically. <laughs> Yeah, they're halves. So I think, they I think it's meatballs, reasonable. I'm thinking like spaghetti meatball size. Yeah. It's like a half of one of those. Hmm. That's, um, not, that's not that bad, then, I guess. Yeah, so I'd say it's it's good. What is the difference between salami and pastrami? It's, if I recall, pepperoni, salami, and pastrami are all the same except in how they're seasoned, I think. How hmm. they're prepared, basically. Hmm. Um, right. I think that's the main difference. Which is why I think it's worth it to do the different ones, plus the size of cut. Let's see what you like. Yeah, well, that and I already know I like them all, so I just mix them all. <laughs> kind of like a mm, yeah, that's good too. Subway. I'll get like all that. Oh, yeah. Give Subway, me the pastrami, Subway has some good meats. pepperoni, 
uh, meatballs, bacon. Oh, meatball subs are awesome. I love theirs. Oh, these are great. Especially when you get it, uh... Come here, buddy. I guess you do it either way, but usually I toast my bread. Oh, yeah. Just because it adds a nice texture. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, Flatbread Pizza is also like a mini shout out. They're, they're, I think those are yeah. way underappreciated. Yeah. A good Flatbread Pizza is like. It's fun. I it's hate flatbread. You hate flatbread? It's gross. <laughs> it's not good. And the only way it can become even salvageable, in my opinion, is if you cook it. And even then, it's still not great. Oops. I like it every now and then. It's. Oh boy. Well, I just took a shot. Uh -oh. And... Oh, I got one. Oh, boy. No. Oh, jeez. Um. I guess uh, Buffalo Wild Wings has some good flatbreads that I made when I worked there. But I could, like, I could whip them up, like, super extra. So it's not like a, it's not like a regular flatbread. It's like, I put tons of stuff on it. Yeah. So it makes it a little better. It, it, it depends, I think. Not all places have good flatbreads, that's for sure. I, I just think flatbread in general is not good, but... <laughs> Ding! You got uh, the word color. So... This one I would say we don't have to go favorite. Maybe just a movie you would recommend to people, but a movie you'd recommend. It says favorite movie, but I would say recommends better. Because it's hard to pick a favorite. If you know for sure you've got a favorite, go for it. But I think it's hard to yeah, pick a I favorite. Don't know. I don't know about that. So pick one that you would recommend to people. Um, hmm. yeah, I'll just, I guess, I'll go over favorites like super fast and then recommend one. Um, Star Wars obviously is like. My, my jam. I could watch. I could literally watch that back to back for the rest of my life, and I'll be. Yeah. That's the only movie, only movie I need. Um, Saving Private Ryan is really high up there. <clears throat> um, any like war movies? I guess because it's for me, it's emotionally impactful. But I get you. Uh, boy, one that I would recommend. Um, oh, oh, I know, oh, uh, shoot, I can't ever think of it, but it's got Jake Gyllenhaal, and it's... Nightcrawler? No, it's older than that. Um, that was a good one. It's, like, based on the Patriot Act, I think? Like, when people were, like, it was, like, the big, like, 9-11 scare, and, um... It's like basically every Muslim person's a terrorist. Hmm. Um, oh my gosh, where's it at? It's like tra transition or oh rendition. Oh my gosh, that movie is rough. I don't think I know that one. Oh my gosh, it's so it's so good, but it's it it seems very accurate to real life. I don't want to spoil movie. I'll try it. I want to give like broad strokes so you get the gist, but it's like this. Is this um, I think he's. No, I'll say Middle Eastern. I'm not sure where he's from exactly, but he's a Middle Eastern guy. He comes back from a flight. He's like a chemical engineer, I think, and he's like he's like very very some crazy way associated with this terrorist dude like he had like coffee with him or something I don't remember what it was but it's such something so vague and he gets captured and questioned about it he's like how do you know this guy and then he tells him he's like yeah we don't believe you wow so it's a, apparently that kind of thing happens a lot which I'm not surprised but it's a really good I mean if you don't already know the American American government's like garbage, <laughs> but and it's had it's, 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 a it's really had even good, worse moments than it is now. Yeah, it's, it's it's a really good peek into that kind of thing if you're interested. I like that kind of thing. It's like it's interesting though, but it also is like 
it sucks to know. Yeah, it's one of those things where you're like, it's it's eye opening, which is cool and also really awful to to live with, I guess. Yeah, it's 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 a rough ride. I, if you're a person who cries, I would definitely recommend tissues because it's it's emotional. Um, oh, this but, is this uh, one. Rend rendition with Jake John Hall, I can't recommend that enough. That was such. A, I watched that movie with my mom. We both cried because it was it was awful. Oh my gosh. <sighs> yeah, that's, that's that's my recommendation. I like movies that like that though. They're like, it's real and like. You know, yeah, I get you. I get it's, where you're coming it's from. It's meaningful, and people you can relate. And you're like, wow, this this really happens. That's disgusting. What about what is your uh, uh oh, who saw me? Movie recommendation to oh, the masses. Um, I will say that I don't know if it's my favorite anymore, because I favorites are so hard for me, but. Dang, I mis made oh a big boy. mistake. <laughs> that guy saw me way that's, earlier yeah, than I thought. That's pretty bad. Oh, man. Um, but one I would absolutely recommend is Moonrise Kingdom. No question. And I brought oh, that up in one of our other things, but... Bruce Willis? Oops, I don't want that. Yeah, Bruce Willis oh, and... Yeah. It's such a, what's it's his such name? a weird movie. Bruce Willis. fantastic. Oh, Bill Murray. Yeah. It's so strange. Absolutely I, amazing. I also, that's, that's oh, and Ed Norton. Movie. Yeah. I would definitely Well worth watching. That. I watched it, and I'm not kidding, five times the first <laughs> night I saw it. I watched it once, and I was like, I love this movie, I'm watching it again, and I did that uh, five total times. It's so quirky, but... Oh um, my... It's, it's quirky in the literal, like, best way you could make a movie. It's so strange, but it's... It's really good. <clears throat> I don't think we're gonna finish this one this time, and I'm cool. We'll, we'll cut it when we need to, but... I forgot that this is this base. Do you want to cut it right here and then pick no. up? No. No? I'm gonna... We'll kill some time still. Because we still got a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can get them to come off me for a minute. Well, when they're uh, like, oh, sure we you, can't see you. Make sure you go in your cardboard box. Um, I maybe, think I'm gonna maybe. do this you for may, now. Yeah, you might just be okay here, actually. Because normally if they're alerted, they can... They'll just shoot you when they see the box. Uh... What's your what? Same thing, but for song. Again, oh if you know gosh, a favorite, know. then pick it. But if just just oh, pick a boy. recommendation. Just go recommendation. Recommend one song. Recommend one. Oh my gosh, so many. Um. Hmm. I'm tell, I'm, uh, recommend one song. Looks like the enemy's lost sight of you. Um, I'll go with. I feel like it might be Metallica song. I'm not sure. Um, Gorillaz has a bunch of really cool music I like. Um, plenty of rock people that I enjoy. Uh, oh wait, no, Joe. Yeah, it's probably never mind. It's probably gonna be jazz. Um, jazz is a good one for sure. As of oh my god, <laughs> as I've gotten more into jazz, um, which I've always liked it, but it wasn't until like pretty recently I started really listening to it, like on Pandora and stuff. Um, hmm. Does it? I guess it doesn't have to be like in inspirational or anything. Just no, it doesn't have to be. Just a good song. Yeah, just some something that's good or whatever worth um, recommending. I would say between Dion the Wanderer, which is the, the they call me the Wanderer. Yeah, which I'm is the Fallout the 4 theme. If you don't know the trailer they use, I saw the trailer for Fallout 4 the first time. I was like, oh my god, I love this. <laughs> it's this good. Is an incredible song. It's so like groovy and smooth. Um, but to be fair, before that, I think it was. How was it? Um, by the sea or something like that? Um, it's the one, it's, he's talking like, 
It's the dude um, who's talking about going out to sea and then he's like, he'll never uh, shoot and go sailing and something. Oh boy. Wait, is that in there? No. If you're talking about the one I think. Never go Join sailing the Navy again. To see? Oh, maybe not that one then. Never go sailing again. What song is that? Oh my gosh, it's killing me. It's supposed to get. Oh, Beyond the Sea. Oh my god. Oh, Beyond the Sea? Oh. I don't remember the Never Go Sailing part. Yeah, that's a classic. Yeah. That's, that's the one that. It starts so. It's you like, should try it. Check that in French too. La Mer by La Charles Mer. Trenet or Trenet oh or whatever. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, La Vie en Rose. Oh boy. That's La Vie en good Rose too. is good. Oh. But yeah, La Mer is the French version of. I would just recommend sea. jazz in general, but oh gosh, maybe so love, maybe Lovey and Rose. Beyond the sea, mm-hmm. oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I get close. I, I, I totally, I totally <laughs> spaced on that one. Lo- probably yeah, Lovey and Rose. This is Lovey and Rose. I'm, 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 su- I'm a super sap. That's such a romantic song. <laughs> I love that one. Just the, the the his voice and the like the I'm not sure what it is the saxophone or whatever. It depends you, on the version you, you listen to. You probably know, but I can't tell. Just that's another one that has a I think French version that's really good, mm. and I think that's the original, but I'm not sure because I mean it's called Lovey on Rose. It's not English. But it, it just the all all that together just is an awesome song. I really, I really dig that one. Jazz in particular is a great genre, but... Absolutely. Lovey and Rose is... That's like my top. What about... Uh, you have your own favorite song recommendation? Yeah. I'll make this quick and we'll end it here. Okay. But... Uh, <laughs> on In the spirit of this in general, Mountain Goats are fantastic. And since Will's already recommended <laughs> jazz, that's where I would start. Specifically, Sunset Tree album is fan- amazing. Uh, but specific song... Uh, uh, Sunset Tree album by Mountain Goats? Yeah. Oh, okay. Specific song of theirs, I would start... Oh, God, there's so many good ones. That's, yeah, They've got literally it's, it's over so, 500 songs. so hard, because there's so many good, like, m- metal songs, too, but... In the spirit of... So, I'm going to give two real quick. One, uh, Love, Love, Love... Absolutely amazing. It's super pleasant and kind of chill. God's album's more jazzy, so that's a cool one. So I guess this is technically more than two. But the one that I want to give, just to the spirit of this being a gaming channel, is... Uh, sorry about your... Uh, what is it? Sorry about your princess is in another castle? Whatever Toad <laughs> says. Oh, is that the title? Let me pull this oh up. my gosh. I'm you... not going to play it, because obviously that's a... <laughs> that's a... That's a no-no. That's pretty. That's pretty brilliant. I can get down with that. Um, oh, thank you, Mario. But our princess is in another castle, <laughs> and it's Mountain Goats like featuring Khaki King, and it's an amazing song. That's it's pretty, so good. That's pretty funny. So in the spe- and it's told from, I believe Toad's point of view. It's him in the back of the castle when he's like hearing all the stuff going on, and then he hears. Somebody who turns out to be Mario up here fighting off the bad guys and whatever. <laughs> and then Mario comes oh in and gosh. he's like, thanks, but the princess is in another castle. And at the, the very princess, end you hear awesome. uh, Peach comes in. So, it's really cool. And that one's video game themed, so I feel like <laughs> throwing that out there. Oh my gosh, that's great. Alright, well. So yeah, we'll see you later. Thanks for sticking with us. Oh my god, he fucking fell. He fell.